What's up, you all? Welcome back to Reggie Beats. I'm your IT producer, and today we're gonna be doing part two of how to make a beat selling website with WooCommerce and WordPress. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't watched the first, so if you haven't watched the first one yet, you better check it out because you need to check it before you check this one. You know what I'm saying? Because last time we left it here because last time we didn't have a player. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna be continuing on adding a player to this website. But we actually have two ways to do this. You know, there's a free way and there's a paid way you know what i'm saying and they both work perfectly and i even feel like the the freeway even works better so right now i'm gonna start with the freeway so the freeway your website will end up looking like this meaning that now we're not gonna have the grid anymore we're just gonna have a list like the way it shows on beat stars and all the other big selling websites but then the paid way is like this one you know meaning that now you can actually have these grids like youtube type of thing you click on the picture and then it plays and to achieve that you must get elemental pro you know so for now we'll actually start with the one where it's just free okay cool so now we're back on our website let's just go back to the dashboard and you're gonna install a plugin so for us to be able to add a music player on this you're gonna install a free plugin by sona you know so this plugin there's a free there's a pro there's like it goes to so many levels but then for the free version we'll just do what it can do and if you want this plugin and you want the pro version there's a link below you know you can just click on that link and get it asap so once you hear about the plugins you're gonna search for sona let's type sona that way and then we get this mp3 player for music podcast yeah so install this one okay once it's done just activate it okay cool so now we have installed the plugin let's just okay so after installing the plugin then you're gonna go to mp3 player and go to settings and here by the settings make sure that everything is selected here after selecting everything just go and click save okay cool so now we're actually gonna start creating our playlist you'll see how it works once you make the first one you're gonna get the idea of how it works so okay this one let me delete this one because i made it uh, previously when i was just testing out so when you go to all playlists you'll see that you see nothing right so we're gonna create one now we're gonna create a playlist so just say add a new playlist so a playlist will be like a group of beats let's say maybe like latest beats like most played beats or all beats but for now we'll just call this playlist latest beats latest beats okay so now you scroll down and scroll down scroll down so once you scroll down you'll get to a point where you see track list you know so this is the sona mp3 plugin in action so now you can actually add tracks to the playlist so in which you're gonna be adding what the tagged beats so um so where it says track one you go click add a file and then you're gonna upload the beats like let's say maybe because the beat let's just check let me just go back to the website which is uh example just to see what beat we are having there yeah so it means that the first one now must be this one i need to actually put this beat well I, I can put it in any way because i can still match them and take the correct link and put it at the right place so okay let me go back to the playlist okay so i'm gonna go find the beat right now uh let's say maybe let me upload okay let me just click cancel because i think i already have a beat uploaded yes let me use this one keep hustling but you can choose any beat that you want but this one ideally must be the tagged version the tag because that's the one that they're going to be able to play before they buy so you can just change the title there to whatever whatever it is but right tagged and then i say use this file okay so you see now as i scroll down it says call to action so this is the part where we're going to put our purchase link so right now where it says select icon go and select buy and then here it says label so label you can just say buy as well and the link to the url so now we need to get a, a link of the beat remember this product that we made 
you know we need to get these links of these products and add them to that playlist so since we're gonna get rid of this how are we gonna get the links it's very simple so let's go back to the dashboard you can open up a new tab and go to the dashboard and then you go to uh, products all products and then now we only have these two beats roll and uh, and then slime so you can just view then you get the link of the product so I'm gonna copy this and paste it in where's that part I get where's the section we're working on yes here yeah. I'll paste it in here see and then so now if I want to add another track I can another beat so let me add another one okay because we also have slime right so let me also look for a file for slime so as you can see here it says you can choose the file from your computer or maybe a link but it's better when you choose it from your own when you upload it because it's you know it plays quickly so now we're gonna look for another one because those names I just made them just I'll just look for any one so this one will be representing uh, what is this one slime okay so I can say back the numbers right tagged just to you know well you don't have to write it but I just feel like it's better writing it and then I'm gonna go back here go back to products again and I'm gonna find slime and just say view then copy the link again and come and put in the link okay I'm gonna select the same thing again bye now let me say download maybe yeah maybe this one is it has a free version that you can just say download and then I'm gonna put the link here and then now I have like two beats on my playlist right as you can see so now I can just publish this playlist okay cool so now it's time for us to actually see the playlist in action and see how it looks like you know so we're gonna go to let's just go to our home page which is visit site then here just click if edit with elemental if you don't see it then just click edit but if you can see just click edit with elemental so this is the free elemental so this one doesn't require to have the pro so if you don't have elemental you can just search for it on the plugins install it and then click that so you'll see now when i say edit with elemental i'm gonna click on edit with elemental okay okay already let me just remove this because i already had it before so now we're gonna actually add the mp3 player here those beats here so just search for sauna and you'll find this mp3 player you see so remember the other beats were here but now uh i think so they that we, we, we will remove them on the other section so now let's just drag just drag this and put it maybe under latest beats see now you get this but then so this playlist is is like you know it's all in black as you can see you see so i think what we have to do is that we have to change the background color of this page to be white you know so let's just click update and there's a link in the description that will lead you to this page for the code snippets and then once you get to this page you know just look for, for a link called code snippets and then scroll all the way down to where it says white background css so you're gonna copy everything again just copy everything and then you go back to the site or you can just yeah um, just just go back to the site because you want to be able to click customize so wherever you are as long as you can see customize you know let's just maybe open a new one like this one let's click customize okay cool now you go to additional css then control a select everything just click control a and then paste the new one now you see it's white here okay so it means that we might also soon oh okay let me undo you don't want it on this page you want it on the home page so click home yes and then here you paste it 
yes and then you want it like this here but then we'll just go change some of the wordings on the playlist so date and then let's go back to our page just refresh this one so the color can come into action okay cool so now here's our here's our playlist here let's click on it you know so as you can see now when i click this it will play that beat and if i if i click here oh here's it then i can purchase the beat but let's try and style it a bit let's see how much you can style it because you can see some of the stuff they want you to have the pro version if you want to buy the pro version of the of this mp3 plugin the link is down below as well so yeah let's see what these options are he says the playlist image okay let's add a playlist image i'll just add my my logo my logo is a playlist image okay it's just that it's a bit big you just need to resize it and make it a bit smaller you know but then yes that's how it is out you can put anything here you can put the logo so you can choose that you know what i'm saying these are you know now listening to your beats and then let's see what else this has hide no we don't want to show controls over image no when you go to style so you can see to get the style you must have the mp3 player pro so yeah and then from when this is done you can just click update now let's try and open up the site okay so you see here the beats here and you can click you can play you know i click on this one you can also play and then if i bring my mouse here it shows me that i can buy this beat or i can download it so when i click on this it will take me to that page where i can actually purchase the beat see now i'm on this page and i can just select whatever beat that i, I mean whatever license that i want then i purchase so now you actually fully integrated mp3 player so even this we need to just edit the color so you can so show as a uh, you know black so let's just go back to where we're editing which was i think here yes so we're gonna click here so you can change the color of that okay let's just add a new one because this one seems like it's just messing up so just add a new title and then we can just type latest beats best <laughs> beats okay then you can change the color of the text and then you make it black you know we can either center it you know put it in the center if you want to or anywhere so this you can you know i feel like this is a bit too big but let me check if you can resize it uh, i think on the free one you can't resize it so you must just get a perfect image that is not as big and then now that's it update so it means now every time when you want to add a new beat you can just okay so now this is f okay so now this is fully integrated this is the the freeway you can still do so many things with this you can change a whole lot of things add a whole lot of beats you know even this one here with oh snap what did i do undo okay so now we actually fully integrated your beat store and the music player so just like beat stars you get there you play beats and listen if you want to buy you just click on this button on the side and then it takes you there so now how do you add new beats it's simple so remember okay let's just uh, you know I, I have this thing of opening up a whole lot of tabs okay let me exit this then click on the w so to add a new beat remember you have to go to products then all products and then just duplicate one and just change a couple of informations if you don't remember watch the first video so after adding one here then that's when you have to come and add you go to your playlist say all playlists and then you just edit this playlist and add the other beat that you are putting on see so let's say maybe you add a third beat we're gonna come here and add scroll down man this thing is stupid scroll down add around the track you can add as many as you want then you're gonna edit there it's very simple and then you know everything is here here is the tagged ones and then people can click next you can make a whole lot of playlists you know and you can change the design a lot as well you know so i, I will put like a, also another css 
additional CSS there to make this look a bit nicer. But right now it's all about finishing the video. So if you want me to do it the other way, which is the grid way, just comment below and then I'll make that I'll make a video for that. But just know that it's a paid way of to buy elemental, I think, for like around sixty dollars. I'm not sure. I'll just double check. So yeah, please stay tuned in and subscribe because I'm still gonna add more videos on how to make this website even better and also how to put your pricing tables and licensing tables and all those things and the contracts so yeah man stick around and then let's get it i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching